achieved to be my translator. It's <laughs> a new job. So. <laughs> uh, you don't get to come here for free, you have to work. But um, it's just that there are so many uh, nuances with the Iraqi Arabic, so I think it's perfect to have you uh, doing this. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I have to say, Nina, because we had hoped, as you've heard, we had hoped to have a delegation of 15, including a, a large number of students, and, and you know, very sadly, the policy seemed to change at the last minute from Baghdad University, and we were told that the students were not coming. And then we were told, well, actually, two students are coming. Um, and that was Yaya and Mina, who were so determined to come that they had just gone ahead and gotten their visas and gotten their tickets and came anyway. So we're very glad. <laughs> Much more 
I think Heather's play was seemed like it was uh, made for American consumption. Uh, this wasn't. This was definitely not uh, made for American consumption. This was for an Iraqi audience. Uh, and it was really uh, extremely powerful. And uh, the words, the way you express yourself, I have to say, Leila, you were absolutely magnificent. say that the translation, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone, but it did not do really justice yeah. to, the, to the words, and also the, it, it, it didn't match the words. I mean, there, there was like translation had nothing to do with what's going on uh, on, the, on the ground. So I, I'd say this was, uh, this was really remarkable. The piece you did about the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Amriya uh, the, uh, was, was, it was unbelievable, the shelter. Um, I, I know that, that Heather did that too. You took it to, uh, like you were there. You yes. were definitely, you, and you were there. You experienced it in a whole different way than someone on this side of the ocean would experience it. So I, I, I'm gonna bring my mother on Saturday to see it. Yes, I think, please. I, I think, I think she, will, she will be, she will yeah. be moved. So I, I have to say, this was a whole different transformative experience for me. Uh, than Heather's play. Heather's play was wonderful, and I love Heather, but this was, uh, this was uh, transformative, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, could you just talk a little bit about both the translation, how easily it translated, and the adaptation, what was adapted? Yeah, well, uh, uh, it's a long story, but uh, by chance, I was navigating the internet and I saw on the YouTube something about culturally, uh, about Iraq, a play written by Heather Rappu. I never know. No, uh, Heather Rappu. And uh, last year I came to, uh, to the United States of America after 23 years. I graduated from UCLA in <laughs> 1989. And in uh, 2011 I came here to the TCG conference, theater communication group, and I met Heather. Uh, I don't know how, how, and we talk about, and I was explaining to her how I like her play, and I saw some segment in the YouTube, and she said, okay, I'll give you the, the text. She gave me the text. I translated it when I turned back, and we talk with the, uh, me and uh, Leila, we work on this text, uh, and she lives in Jordan, I live in Baghdad, she go back and forth, and we work like months on this uh, piece of, uh, uh, and uh, we, we try to make it Iraqi 100%. And I saw in this uh, uh, play, really the elements of Iraq, the theme, the characters, uh, the thought, uh, the, uh, 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 the woman suffering, the effect of war, I can, I, can, I can see a lot of things, a lot of themes, a lot of, uh, uh, in this play. So in each character we have, maybe the Iraqis can get it, but uh, it's, it's hard for uh, others to get it. Uh, very small touches, but it means a lot for, for the characters. And also, I have an experience <laughs> before this experience. I have experience uh, in uh, 1991. Uh, 19, uh, I have... It's the same style of uh, playing the game. <coughs> and uh, it was a play called Ila uh, Ishaan Until further, until further, uh, until further notice. And uh, we, I did that 20 years ago and I have a story with that. I have a story. Uh, I came from the United States to Baghdad to work in Baghdad University. And I was full of energy and young. That was 23 years ago. And, uh, we did a play after exactly the invasion of Kuwait. Mm -hmm. And we did a play, it was 
like something else. Assigning maybe Saudi play, I guess. And uh, it was a very, very dangerous <coughs> play because mm -hmm. I play one of the characters of Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. on the stage. Yes. And you can't touch this red line to, to, to play Saddam Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a horrible experience for me because I was shaking and I was, uh, uh, it was, it was horrible. So I stopped acting and directing for a long time because of this experience. I Did went to work. Haven't you yes. been able to do it? No. No, I did it. But, but I, I got threatened from secret police from here and there and it was a terrible experience for my, for my, for my career. <laughs> It was dangerous, very dangerous. So I started working in the, in the theater. So I work like uh, we do uh, television, theater uh, without border, and theater uh, for the Jamia uh, theater. So in the television, we work together in television, Baghdad television, and in Iraqi satellites. Satellite. And um, uh, last 10 years, me and Leila also have a, 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 a great experience in uh, uh, doing a show together and monodrama. So, uh, it's a history of uh, struggling and uh, I'm glad that we made it here and uh, I'm glad that today is the opening and you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was the translation of that part of Desire? How did you translate it? I mean, I mean the name of, of the play. Ah, oh, we put an original uh, 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 a name for this uh, piece, not nine part of desire in Arabic. It is the game of uh, both confession and madness. Confession of and madness. That's the name of the Arabic version of nine parts of desire. I'm actually curious to hear about the experience of a young. Uh, first, he says hi to everyone. Can you speak louder, 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 louder. Yeah. So everybody can hear. So first, he says uh, hi. Uh, her first experience with uh, Dr. Haytham in a, in a, in a piece called uh, Eastern Syndrome. Democracy and Eastern Syndrome. This is Dr. Haytham's performance. That was the first time on stage, and the Kuretan was a really uh, uh, good professor, and uh, uh, he did a lot for her for the, because of that was the first time. Uh, she loved the. Uh, that piece and uh, she believed that there is a great message on it and she really wished that uh, they they are able they will be able to show it here but unfortunately this didn't happen. <coughs> 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 She has a student and her relationship with society in, in Baghdad now. Basically, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult, but uh, step by step, people get used to it. And until now, in her personal experience, that's uh, nobody about anything about what she's doing as an actress. <laughs> she, she hoped that she will see the, the young Iraqis, uh, they are marvelous, and you will like them at the moment. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aita. Maybe, Aita, maybe you could now share with the audience, since they won't unfortunately get to see your play performed this time, maybe tell a little bit about what uh, the play Democracy and Eastern Syndrome is about.
surprised, and uh, she's not surprised that uh, uh, Dawali and uh, Leila, that the, the, the way that uh, the, the play, the, the way they presented the play, they, they did it, and they, she believes that it's, uh, it's one, one of uh, 1,900, or the Arabian night. يعني أنا بالفعل شعرت اليوم إنه ليلى كانت تتزاد وتوقف كل شيء عن الكلام المباح ليصمت ليصمت ويستمع القلب قبل الأذن أحيانا ولكن اليوم كان كل الوقت إحنا نصغي بقلوبنا وبأفكارنا وبحسنا لما قدمت ليلى وما صادق ريشة هذا وما صمم الدكتور وليد لهذه المسرحية التي عيشتنا بقفزات تاريخية من أعماق التاريخ إلى أعماق اليوم وقفزت في ما بين الواقع والخيال بشكل تعامل أعمق من الخيال. <تصفيق>
it for an actor to move with characters and portray each one of these characters so distinctly and so smoothly. So today, I ask you. بداية لما أنطاني النص اللي ترجمه الدكتور وليد قرأت الحقيقة أنا وما شايفة أي شيء عملته هذا ما كنت شايفة نهائيا ولا على يوتيوب ولا أي شيء. When I first got the text, I had not had any exposure to Hader's play. بس عجبتني وجهة النظر اللي العراقية المتغربة. But I like that she had the perspective of an Iraqi who lives abroad. اللي تنظر للعراق أعرف بمحبة أو للعراقي أو للحدث العراقي بمحبة ولكن ولكن تنظر من فوق. But she's looking from far away. أنا حبيت أقدم التجربة كمعدة وممثلة من داخل الشخص. But I wanted to portray the experience from within these characters. ولذلك ركزنا وتنازل المخرج عن مهامة على الممثل. That's why we focused on the actor, and the producer had to give up. طبعاً أنا أكيد ممثلة محترفة وممثلة سينما وممثلة تلفزيون وممثلة مسرح عندي العديد من الجوائز العربية والعالمية والعراقية بس بالنسبة إلي ممثلة ثلاث أعمال مونودرامية بس بالنسبة هذه إلي هذه المونودراما هي تحدي فعلاً مثل ما قالت ميسون الموسوي دكتور ميسون إنه تحدي إلي شخصياً. I have acted in theater, I have acted in, uh, te on television, I've won many awards, but even for me as a, an experienced and seasoned actress, this was the biggest challenge ever. التحدي الحقيقة أنه يصنع كل شيء قدام الجمهور كل المشاعر تتحول واللبس والشخصيات والتحول اللي رصدته الدكتورة بين بين شخصية الممثلة وشخصية الأم وشخصية البنت بآن واحد ما بينهم غير جملة واحدة الصعوبة على الممثل اللي يشعر بها الممثل اللي مارس هذه المهنة يعرف أهميتها وصعوبة أنك تتحول من جلدك لجلد آخر لجلد ثالث uh, the, the challenge and the difficulty in presenting a play like this one is you have to change your outfit, you have to change your character, you have to change your feelings. And all of these places are taking place in front of the audience and within hardly any time in between this enormous transformation. أخيراً المسرح بالنسبة لنا الموت في كل مكان بالعراق الانفجارات في كل مكان الشوارع باب البيوت بالكارتريات بالمتنزهات بمدارس الأطفال فلذلك يصبح المسرح خيارنا في أن نعيش الحياة In Iraq, explosions are everywhere, in children's schools, in parks, 
in, on the streets. So we have no place to live life. So we bring life to the theater so we can be free to reflect this life. لهذا ارجو ان تكونوا قد شفتوا حياتنا حياتنا اللي نحلم ان نعيشها قد تكون بعيده عن تصوركم او تفكيركم ولكن هي حياتنا وعلينا ان نراوي نورجيكم نفسنا مثل ما يشوف احلى نفسنا مو مثل ما الاخرين يحبون يشوفونا مثل ما اكد يحيى الفرحه شكرا. We succeeded in showing you how we live. Portraying our lives, how we live it, not how you would like for us to live it, but how we actually live it. And aesthetically. Did <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you want to say we're going to give uh, my, my answer to, the, to what I was saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh,
Very, very quickly, Heather, because we also have a question from our guest from the Iraqi Cultural Office, and then we're going to all have a reception. So go right ahead. <laughs> وفي المنظمات وفي التحدي ايضا تحدي السلطه وتحدي وله دور كبير انا الان الان اتصور قبل فتره قليله امراه مسيحيه رفعت امام نور المالكي صور المسؤولين الشباب قالت لهم سجنتهم وتحدت يعني هذه بالعكس المراه الان صار لها دور ممتاز وهو اللي العراقي على هو التحدي لكن في وقت اخر انت يا ستي ما تقدرين ان تتحدين هذا التحدي الان هذا التحدي يحدث يوميا there are more and more incidents of women like this woman make challenging the system and this still needs to exist. But well, this challenge by COVID. No, by COVID. Well, not not by the Would you like to ask your question? Oh, oh, yes, I will ask the questions to the director, Mr. Walid, actually. Uh, most of the famous directors in the Arab world, actually, they looking for the too many important concepts, especially for the the country, uh, Americans audience, uh, European, European audience, see some uh, conceptions. So they focus on that and they keep their identity. They keep the, the, uh, their <coughs> cultural identity. So why you didn't work on this issue? So you can mix between the uh, Iraqi uh, characteristics and the actress or the issue and reflect it to the audience and with their concepts, they can understand what they know going on. But with key, you mean why I choose this play? No, actually, why you didn't uh, try to reflect the Iraqi characters, Iraqi oh, so characters, the and their uh, their uh, <laughs> concepts <laughs> of the <laughs> audience? But please, because I think you you may you actually you make you make it one hundred uh, percent Iraqi. Yes. Like I, I agree with the with the uh, Mr's uh, uh, yes. yeah. So you make it one hundred percent Iraqi. So we want some it's a small <coughs> fifty two. Yeah. Well, actually I mean this we didn't we did, I mean in all fairness we did not commission this piece <coughs> for Georgetown. Well, Malik was nice enough to bring to Georgetown the piece which he had created for Baghdad. So, so this is for an Iraqi audience and we are very privileged yeah, yeah. to be able to see it but it was not created for us here it was created for yeah. the it's Iraqi not a plan audience. for uh, uh, for american audience it's a plan for iraq audience <laughs> and uh, i ask uh, uh, ambassador cynthia and uh, professor Derek if we can come and present it here uh, for baghdad university and they are and we have the honor to be with them and to present this play You know, I, I think we are going to have a reception. And if, and if did you really want to add something to that, I don't want to suppress women. Come on, speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. And your interpret your your uh, uh, play of Iraqi words and phrases was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, can you just um, shed light on the history of, of, uh, of uh, theater in Iraq? You know what? 